I'm coming to you today to uh, ask you a question. You know, what are your roots? I think all of us want to know that. We want to know where we came from, what's the origin of our families and so on. But I want to go far beyond uh, the recent past or even the distant past. I want to take us all the way back to the beginning of time to try to address the question of what are our roots? And I want to begin by asking you, just think about this for a moment. Are you a swamp creature or are you a creature of God? Think about it for just a moment. You know, what is your origin of life? Now, we all know that there are basically two theories that try to explain or answer this question. Uh, where did we come from? Where did, where did we people come from? Uh, one is the theory of evolution, and the other is the theory of biblical creation. Now, what's important is to understand the definition of, of a theory. A theory is a supposition or a system of ideas intended to explain something, especially based on general principles independent of the thing to be explained. In other words, the theories are based on ideas and not facts. Theories are faith-based, not facts base. So when considering the theories of evolution or the biblical creation account or theory, the first question is, where did the universe come from? The second question is, where did life come from? And the third question is, when did the human species become distinctly rational or, or cognitive or so forth? So look at the answers of these two theories to try to understand our roots and where we come from. So let's look first at the theory of evolution. You know, where did creation come from? Well, there's no concrete answer for the beginning of this universe. You know, there's the Big Bang Theory, and there are a litany of other theories about the origin of the universe, but in fact, none of them are, are, are beyond that, just being theories. Uh, a best guess at best is they're still trying to find the answer. They don't have a concrete answer. The second question, where did uh, life come from? Well, did it come from a spark or, or a swamp, a lightning bolt? And by the way, if it came from a lightning bolt, bolt where did the lightning bolt come from? Uh, a best guess at best, but there's still no answer. They're still searching. And the third question is, uh, where did man come from? Uh, when did he become a rational cognitive being? What, what is the missing link? Well, there is still no missing link. They haven't been able to find one. They, they've been this theory and that theory, trying to prove it, but in essence, there's no proof to that. They do not know when a human mind became cognitive uh, and, and rational and so on. In fact, there's still a missing link. In fact, I looked up what's called the infinite uh, monkey theorem, and it says this. It states that a monkey hitting the keys of a random typewriter keyboard, all right, uh, for an indefinite amount of time, will almost surely type any text such as the complete works of William Shakespeare. In fact, the monkey would most assuredly type every possible finite text an infinite number of times. However, the probability of a monkey doing this to type the uh, complete works, let's say Hamlet, for instance, just Hamlet, Shakespeare's Hamlet, is so tiny that the chance of doing this would take, and they said it would go back to what they think the uh, beginning of the universe would be. In fact, they said, and ultimately, uh, technically it's not zero, but the chances of this happening are, are so low that they just won't happen. So that's another word to say, it couldn't happen. It, it would be impossible. So for us to look at the uh, theory of evolution and try to explain these three questions, you know, where did the universe come from? Uh, wh where did life come from? Where did human beings come from? Uh, there's no answer. The theory, uh, the theory of evolution is based on no substantive facts. Now, look at the answers of these three questions provided by the theory of biblical creation, biblical creation. All three answers can be found in the first chapter of the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis. God created the universe. Uh, God created life. God created man in his image. All three of the questions are answered in the first chapter of the first book of the Bible. And the theory of biblical creation is based on faith in a creator God, a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So let me ask you this. How do you think the Bible's doing? How do you think the Bible's doing? Here's a fact. There's 168,000 Bibles sold every day in the United States. That's approximately 61 million copies of the Bible sold every year. 
And, and furthermore, during 2020, uh, there's a 143% increase in the sales of Bibles. Why? Because of the coronavirus? I don't know. But I can say this, people are turning to the Bible for answers, for comfort, for support, for understanding, to the Bible. And uh, people are not turning, for instance, to Darwin's uh, on the uh, origin of the species for support. I don't think they're going there. They're going to the Bible. That's why Bible sales are up. So what are your roots? What, what are my roots? Well, for Paul Tusky, my roots are this. I was created by God in his image. My roots are in the God that created the universe, the God that created all life, the God that created me in his image. And so the question I started with, are you a swamp creature or are you a creature uh, of the living God? As for me and my perspective, I'm a creature of the living God and so are you, even if you don't understand it. And I would encourage you to search the scriptures, starting in Genesis and read, because the answers of life are in that text that is very, very popular. You know, I was thinking about 61 a uh, million Bibles sold a year. I've got about 20 Bibles. I don't buy a Bible. I've got tons of Bibles. But people are buying Bibles because they're searching for the answers, uh, for the truth about their origin, about their roots, about where they come from. Now, next time, I want to share with you my thoughts about the conflict of a uh, between a secular worldview and a person like myself that has a biblical worldview. And the tension that exists and understand why the tension exists about the, the meaning of life and, and so on. Now, if you need prayer, I want you to go to my uh, paulteskyministries.com website. You can hit the prayer button and I'll be happy to answer your prayers. You can also follow me on Facebook. Uh, I do Facebook Live. I have Instagram. I have Paul Teske Ministries uh, YouTube page, which I'm about 100 uh, teachings on there and testimonies and so on. You simply go to the Paul Teske a ministries YouTube page, you hit the subscribe and then go to the, uh, to the playlist and find the section about testimonies and so on. But I'm doing that. I'm putting those there for you for your, to help you with your learning and, and your understanding. So it's my prayer that God will bless you and, then, and you'll understand the, the reality of where you come from and, and your roots as a child of God created in his image. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Amen? Amen.